Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps real-time project. So we are starting a new project as you have seen in the first video. The name of this project would be Pipeline as a Code or PAAC. So this is the first video in the series and we are going to talk about a few topics today. Let me show you the topics. So today's agenda is the first thing we are going to discuss is what exactly is Vagrant because we are going to use that. Second, we are going to discuss what is a Vagrant file. Then we are going to talk about how many VMs are going to are we going to need. And then we are talk about the creation of VMs. Uh, the three VMs that we are going to create is one is for Nexus as a artifactory. And then we are going to use SonarCube for the code coverage and the code vulnerabilities and stuff. And then for the CI part, we are going to use Jenkins. And then after that, after the creation of the VMs, we are going to use VM login. Uh, we, we are going to validate the VM after the creation. So this is what we are going to do today. All right. So uh, I would like to request that if you're new over here, kindly subscribe the channel because it supports me to create more videos like this. All right. So before moving further in this video, just wanted to tell you one thing that uh, I want you to understand what exactly is Vagrant. So I'll be taking a clip from my previous video and putting it over here so that you can understand the Vagrant, what exactly does it, what, what it does and how do we use the Vagrant file and stuff. That's what we are going to explain in the video. And if you are already aware about that, you can skip the video till after five minutes because that video is going to be five minutes long. So you can skip after that and go directly to the, uh, to the demo part. All right. Okay. So let us understand what exactly is Vagrant. Now, uh, whenever you provision a system, how do you do it? So what you do is you go inside, uh, you inside go virtual manager, virtual box manager, Oracle virtual box, uh, what you can say. And then you just click over something, uh, you give storage, you give VM name, and then you do it. So that's one of the ways of doing it. But as a DevOps engineer, I think you should learn automation. There are multiple ways to do it. There are multiple providers to do it. But in this video, in this particular course, we are going to use Vagrant for now. So let us talk about what exactly is Vagrant. So consider, for instance, there is something known as VM. Okay. Now this VM is what we have created through multiple things. Okay. So let me consider three things over here. So one could be something which is created through Oracle Virtual Box. Okay. Uh, I'll write it something like this so that you cannot forget it. And then something you have created by VMware. So VMware is another way to do it. Okay. And then there is another way you, you have some, some AWS, uh, not AWS, you can have OpenStack. OpenStack you have. So there are other ways. So this is VM. This is also a VM. I'll just give it VM2. I'll just give VM3 or I'll just give this VM1. Okay. So these are the VMs that you guys need to create. Now in this course, what we have to do? We have to create a few VMs because in this course, what we are going to do is we're going to create a VM for our application. Okay. We're going to do it for our web. Uh, we're going to do our sorry for, for memcache. Okay. We are going to do for DB as well. Okay. And so on and so forth. We're going to do that. But if we start doing it manually, uh, it'll just delay down the process. So for that, we have something known as Vagrant. So I'll just write it over here. So let's say we have Vagrant for that. Okay. Please don't mind my handwriting because it's kind of tough to write with this pen. Okay. So in this Vagrant, there is something known as Vagrant file. Okay. And this Vagrant file has all the information of all the VMs that we are going to create. So if there would be a VM one, then it would contain the OS, what OS we are going to use. It would contain what are, what is the image that we are going to use? It would contain the RAM. It would contain the storage and so on and so forth for VM one. Similarly for VM two and similarly for VM three and so on and so forth. Depends on the number of VMs that you guys want to create. Okay. So this is a vagrant file. So this is one of the important things. So I'll just mark it in red. One of the important thing that we are going to discuss today as well. I'll show you an example so that, uh, it, you doesn't, there is some retention. You doesn't lose the concept. Okay. Now what happens is when, when you type a command vagrant up, I'll show you that vagrant up. If you remember in the past video, we have already installed it vagrant up. It will start reading this file, this vagrant file and start spinning the VM, whatever the information is written in this file, it gets translated. Thus it creates the VM. So for example, it will create the VM. 
so let's say we have given three information in oracle virtual box uh, let me close this let me close this so it will start creating the vms out of your vagrant file now this is something known as uh, this is a vagrant file so it, oracle virtual box is a default provider for this vagrant uh, you can use vmware as well you can use openstack aws azure cloud as well but by default it is oracle virtual box and we are going to use that only in that in in this course okay so what the what happens is vagrant this vagrant talks to the talks to these vm okay talks to these vm which vms these vms this vm and this vm so all the vms vagrant is going to talk to the vm and what does it do it uses api these vm exposes so whatever these vms we have created this one vm second vm and third vm they are going to expose some kind of apis so these vms will expose some apis so you need to keep that in keep that in mind expose some apis and through those apis vagrant is going to talk to these vm so do not worry about it you just have to install vm uh, vagrant and then you have to write a file okay so the repository that we're going to use over here is vprofile project. Now you can come to this channel github.com logic ops lab and then you can look for a vprofile project. This is not completely my sole work. So the credit goes to Imran Thiele's DevOps Hyderabad Club vprofile project. I have forked this video from there, but I have done a few changes or you can say a minor changes. So props to them for creating an amazing repository. So I'll just go inside this and I will look for a branch known as P A A C logic ops lab. So if you'll come over here, you'll be able to see that. So this is something that we are going to use in this project. Okay. So if you want to take a look, you can just clone the file. How do you clone it? Just go to code, copy this and open a command prompt in your system. And then you can just clone it. Okay. So I hope you already know how to clone it. I'll just minimize this and then I'll just understand. Let me explain the code over here. So this is something that what we are going to use over here. So you can see this is a vagrant file that we are going to use. And in this file, what you can see is that there is there are three VMs that we are going to create. One is the Nexus 3 VM. Second is the Sonar Cube VM. And third is the uh, third is the what do you call it Jenkins VM. So I think I have made it uh, wrong over here. So let me just clear this. Okay, so this is fixed. So these are the three VMs that we are going to use it over here. So the IP address, you can change it if you want. I have just given this 21, 22 and 20, 20. So these are the three things. Now uh, I'm taking this as provided as VirtualBox and it will be knowing as VB and VB.memory is one GB memory I'm providing to all of them. So these are the things that I'm going to use now. Now you can see on my screen that there are multiple files over there. There is settings.xml, there is pom.xml, there is Jenkins file.xml. So we are going to use them later and then I'm going to explain each and everything over there. So do not get confused about that. All right, right now, all you have to do is you have to make a few changes in the project in order to create, uh, in order to create your VMs. And these are the only changes that I think you need to do. Okay, so if you want to, if you already have something with this IP, just change it. That's all you need to do. Okay, so I'll just try to run this project and let's see what happens. So I'll be opening it over here and you can see this is a vagrant file over here. So if you want to make a check-in out of it, which I made the change, I'll just make a check-in out of it. Uh, changes, I'll just name it change. And I'll give you an idea of how to do check-ins. Just do that. Sync the changes over from here. Do an OK over here and then it is going to be synced. So that's all we have to do. I'll just minimize this. It is green now. You can see what you can do is copy the address from here because I want to do it in one go. So I'll just do the start button, type CMD over here, or you can open a git bash over there. It's totally upon you. Run as administrator, give the permission. Yes. And then once it opens in front of you, what we are going to do is just type CD and then we are going to travel to the path. This is the path. And then we are going to run this file which is vagrant file. Okay. So what is the command for that vagrant up? So we are going to do that. All right. Now we have a virtual box manager already there. Make sure that you have installed it. If not, uh, look, th look through the internet, you will be able to understand that how to install this. I'm going to install all of the VMs that I had created. Okay, so I'll just put it over here and put this over here so that you can see at the real time what is happening. Okay, I'll just hit enter. 
and as you can see on my screen it has started bringing the machine nexus 3 sonar server jenkins 3 virtual box provider and it has started importing the gear link guy centos 7 so this is the centos 7 which is started creating and you can see that v profile project nexus 3 this is the vm that is about to be created so this is the file that has created it and it is trying to connect it to it so it is going to wait for a few more seconds then once the connection uh this is you can see that connection reset it's again trying to make a connection so this can happen one or two times or three three or more times so do not worry about that it is going to create the vms out of it okay so uh, depending on the internet speed depending on your processor depending on a lot of things it is going to take the time so do not get confused or do not worry about it what i'll do is i'll just fast forward the video once this is ready okay oh you can see that it has made the connection inserting generated public key within guest and this has started happening and then now you can see that v profile project nexus 3 this is done and now what it is doing it is saying that v profile project sonar server is now creating okay so this has already started creating it and it is going to create in a same way which is which we have already done okay so as you can see on my screen that all the three vms are now ready so this is nexus sonar server and jenkins so let us validate them now so all we have to do is type vagrant ssh in the name so from where you're going to pick the name you are going to go over here and you're going to pick this name so nexus 3 is the first one that i'm going to do so next is sonar server and then jenkins so i'll just minimize this i'll just type the name over here let me do nexus 3 and let's see if we are able to do that or not and it might take some time for the first connection and you can see now do a sudo su over here to see whether you have the root access or not perfect you have the root access and then you can do ip config over here okay ip config no that's not there if config and you can see that there is this ip inet ip but the one we gave is this 192.168.32.33.20 okay so this is something that we do now do a control d over here and then it is going to exit let me do it once again this is done now what i'm going to do i'm going to do vagrant ssh and into jenkins let's see what happens so the ip in the previous state it was 20 right now let's see what it is so what we are going to do is if con fig okay and you can see that the ip is 3322 which which came from this okay 22 now we'll, we'll be testing sonar server which will be 21 so let's do that control d over here and then it is closed perfect what we're going to do do sonar server server hit enter and then it is going to go inside you'll have the root access here itself in all the three do sudo su you'll get the access and then do an if config that's all and you can see that the ip is 21 which i just showed you now here's the thing about it so this project can be done on aws dcp or azure as well if you have three vms over there you can do that that's that's not uh, not an issue all you have to do is you have to just make a few changes in the file where the connection is going to happen that's all you have to do all right i have made it over here so that the for the people who do not have enough uh, money to uh, buy the subscriptions uh, or do not have credit cards students to, who do not have credit cards and cannot spin a server on any kind of uh, any kind of aws or any public cloud this is very much beneficial for you to understand the project or to understand the nitty gritties of these kind of projects for the devops real time all right so this is something that we are going to do over here so uh, i think uh, this is clear till here so what we are going to do we are going to do an updation over here so we'll do in all of the vms okay so let's do it okay so I think we are already in the root so you can type yum update and then give hyphen y because I don't want it to prompt give a space between them and then uh, it will upgrade all of your system software as well as their dependencies dependencies to the latest version use this command just hit enter and then it is going to load plugins fastest mirror determine fastest mirror so this is what we are doing over here is we are doing over here in sonar server okay so it is going to take time depending on your internet speed so i'll just fast forward the video once it is done okay so this is happening let it happen so what we'll do is uh, you do not have to wait for some time or something 
you can do this parallelly so right now we were in sonar server let's go here right click over here go to show more options you can go to get bash over here it'll open a git bash for you go inside type vagrant ssh and jenkins okay so we now we'll go to jenkins and it is going to do some kind of connection between them and once the connection is done it is going to show you okay cool sudo su and here same thing yum update and then hyphen y it is going to update this as well so again it is determining the fastest mirror this is happening for which one jenkins okay previously we did for sonar server and then we have to do for nexus as well okay so i'll just put it over here open one more terminal over here show more options i'll go to get bash over here i'm going to do vagrant ssh i'll go to nexus 3 okay i think the name was like this it is going to take another few seconds to interact and then log in into it once done okay cool sudo su this is done type for sudo yum oh we are already in sudo so yum update hyphen y because i don't want to see prompts enter here over here so this is determining fastest metal link and it is going to download it over here one is happening over here one is happening over here you can see and one is happening over here okay so these are the three things that we are uh, doing over here if your internet speed is good do simultaneously you can do uh, in this way because my internet speed is quite quite good so i'm doing this at the same time okay so uh, all this all you have to do is you have to do this only so that's that's all you have to do okay so uh, i'm not going to show the end result for this uh, i'm just going to fast forward the video or i'm going to just end the video over here itself so that uh, it you do not waste a lot of time in just to see the updates once this update is done you can just uh, close them uh, and or then start using all right so guys uh, if there is any issue if you have not understood anything over here please feel free to comment below because uh, it it makes uh, it makes me feel that you guys are listening and then you guys are doing it oh great you have you can see this now that this is complete so this is something uh, which started at the in the first place on our server so this is completed and then uh, you can just close it you don't have to do anything or just do control d over here control d it is going to come out okay control d perfect after that you can just close it like this and this is going to happen like this okay so you can wait for that otherwise uh, no issues so uh, if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that and do not worry about this part do not worry about this so you can see that if these are running and you switch it them off something will happen do not worry about that so nothing happens so right now this is happening in the uh, jenkins one and the nexus 3 so this is nexus 3 and this is jenkins and the sonar is completed so what you can do is you can just go over here and look for sonar one okay this is also completed great so this is you can see jenkins one is also completed do a control d over here control d control d and it is closed connection is closed let's close that all you can do right click over here go to close and then power off the machine okay and it is going to power off the machine and then nexus 3 it is happening don't worry about that right click over here sonar server right click close and then just power off the machine okay so this is power off now it is going to happen over here okay and let it happen let it complete and once it is done you can just do the same way control d come out of it and do the honors over here okay so again I'll, I'll i'm repeating this again and again uh feel free to comment below if you need to understand anything or if you have any question in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one